We're here in Nimes. I'm with John Knott, and myself is Chris Marsh from World Archery. How are you, John? I'm very good, thank you, Chris. So, we have a full action packed lineup this afternoon of top level matches. We've got all the top stars, we've got the big hitters, we've got some surprises as well. But we're about to get under the way here in the next minute with the compound women's bronze medal match here world indoor cup stage three Nimes 2017 so who have we got chris shooting for third place so the bronze medal on target one here we have sarah sonnenschen from denmark she is the defending world cup champion she's taken that honors at the final in las vegas last year and her opponent all the way from the russian federation maria vinogradova on target number two a very quiet and timid russian by uh, personality but uh, certainly on shooting style it's a do or die attitude she is by no means a light opponent and uh, her coach here we've got albina Loganova, multiple world champion absolutely so this is gonna be a good match to get us underway i think I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a favourite. I think Shonison's gonna be favourite to win this. Yeah, she's she's pretty. A, she's quite a tough cookie actually indoors. Yeah. If I may say so, quite crudely. So qualifying as it went down. Let's have a quick. So actually, the higher seed is uh, yeah. Maria at yeah. number six. Yeah. So Inigrova shot a 586 in qualifying. And her opponent, Shonison, she qualified 20th, which is very low for her, with a 5.78 within the matches. Well, that's a perfect first 10 there. Perfect way to open up the uh, start of this match. Nine. It's a cumulative score, so the athlete that has the highest score after 15 arrows will uh, take the match. 10 is the highest score that you can get. Ten. That little ring that you see in the middle of the target, that is the 10 ring. It is the size of a 10 cents euro coin, all the way 18 hey. meters away, which is the size of an articulated lorry trailer, or certainly bigger than a double-decker bus. So it's, it's really very, very hard to try and keep the bow very, very still during hey. aiming to try and hit this. And uh, Vinogradova is doing a stern job, opening up her bank account of 10s, shooting 10, 10, 10, scoring a higher score of 30. And another 10 there. Shana should throw one point lead, first 10. So just looking at the brackets here on their progress to these, uh, this one's medal minor. Shana shot a 148 against uh, Mourinho. Denmark, five point win. And she beat the Highly fancied Marcos from Spain, 147, 146. Then she beat Toya Allison, 149, 141. Uh, and turn into the semi final that she lost against her teammate Jensen, 145, 146. So, so the pretty highest pass we've had for the ladies is 149 by looking at the results. Yeah, she shot the highest pass there. Uh, Mina Gurabha got a 144, 147, 145, which she won with a nine on a shoot off. Lucky. And uh, then she lost 146 to 149 to her uh, teammate as well, had they ever. So tight stuff. Pretty, tight stuff. pretty, pretty balanced out really Whoa. here between these two. So yeah, look, looking at the draw, there was no real heavy side of the draw. I think it was quite well spread out with all the top shooters well i was looking at the bra at the, the ranking round the amount of coin tosses that have taken place that can just influence the path on it's which quite side of the crazy door you are. really look at that all these times so sarah to kick off ten. opening up with a 10. these archers have 20 seconds in order to shoot their individual arrow yep they shoot alternatively Nine. So all square again. Nine. So another chance to get a lead back. Good shot there. Jonathan needs 
a 10 here just to keep this match tight. She gets it. That's good. Commentator's eye is saying nine. And that's definitely a 10. So 59 out of a possible 60. So he's currently got 57, but I am expecting that last nine to be upgraded to a 10. The rules here, as you see, the target face in front of you has three targets. And the aim of the game here is to put one arrow in each of those circles that you see. Um, if it is that you do happen to put two arrows in the same target, then your highest arrow will be deducted and a miss will be recorded. Um, our archers will shoot 15 arrows, and the highest score you can possibly get is 150. 10 is the highest score, and then the lowest score is the blue ring, which is a six. So Martin Damsbo there with his fellow country mate, Sarah Shonison. That's quite an impressive uh, coach's box, I have to say. You've got yeah. Albina, multiple world champion, yeah. and you've got uh, Martin Dansbo, been in compound for many, many years. Medalled, I think, practically in everything. He's won he? this event, he's won the World Cup, yeah. Transitions well, both between indoors and outdoors. Uh, which all four of these uh, the, the, these people behind the shooting line right now um, are certainly good at doing. I think they've all been in a World Cup final outdoors as well. Shaun is the second last year in the outdoor World Cup. So, end number two. So as I thought, uh, done. Done. nine was upgraded to a ten. Yep. Um, if your arrow touches the black line, then it is upgraded to the next uh, arrow value. Um, obviously, if they see yellow or red between uh, the arrow and the black line, then it is uh, downgraded and it's kept to the lower score. Yeah, good ten there. Ten again. Good standard so far in this bronze medal final, Chris. Ten points. So all tens. I think you've got you've got the profiles on these guys there. Shonison featured in a lot of finals last year, didn't she? Yes, the 21-year-old um, had a lot of success as a junior and has transferred very well over to the senior ranks. Uh, for the outdoor, she had an arrow, varage, arrow value of uh, arrow average of 9.6. She had a 66% win on her matches outdoors. And um, tie-break, she, she didn't have any shoot-offs. Um, so she lost all uh, of the six she was actually in. So, 10 10 10 from Sarah Shonison to a 10 9 9. Suddenly, this match takes a big swing. <laughs> yes. And that's the way it's going to be. I would expect nothing less with these guys here. So what sort of release aids are these guys using? So, uh, Sonison shooting a standard button, um, normal release, release, and Vinegar Ava is shooting a wrist release. There's uh, still a few of those out there. There's a few diehards out there, yeah. <laughs> Quite a lot of them come from Russia. <laughs> yeah. But again, both of these guys, they've been Euro European and World Junior Champions, so it's great to see them transitioning into senior events. And the, so there we kick off into the third end. Both of these girls are going to be hoping to make an impact. Well, they've got Las Vegas coming up, but I imagine Jonathan will be going. And then um, after that, it's, they'll be doing the World European Indoor Championships, I imagine. Perfect 10 there. All square at the moment. Yeah. That's big nine. Yeah. 
the release arm seemed oh, to come down there. So a lot the, of red on it. The, the bow kind of kicked up a bit. That might be an eight. Damn. Nice shot. No, that's cool. Nice. Inside out. Inside out, 10. Inside out. So 116. A 10 would maintain the lead. Yeah, she goes. She gets it. 117. Same hole in on there. Fantastic way to start this afternoon session. So if the weather is really bad outside, Get your cup of coffee, get your tea, tea or beer, and sit down on the couch, and you're in for a treat this afternoon. For those of you that remember Nimes, um, it's held this stage for, it, well, this competition has been going on for 19 years. Um, it should have been 21 years, but there's two years where they hosted the World Indoor Championships instead of the Indoor World Cup, and they did that in 2003 and 2014. Nimes has been going on quite some time and certainly shown us all um, in Europe how to stage an indoor event and, and how the production can be very clean and, and, put, uh, and put it on a, a stage very suitable for television. Um, it is a packed crowd here, all the seats are taken. Um, it's been a great weekend of shooting. Um, I mentioned earlier this morning, for those of you that missed it, it is an open tournament so you only have to be a member of your National Archery Federation and then that enables you to enter this tournament. And we've got world champions, Olympic champions here, and we've got people that have shot uh, a bow and arrow for six months. And it's a great weekend out for all the family, both um, mom, dad, uh, nan and granddad, and also for the kids. So it's, it's a level for everybody. You all shoot 18 meters. Uh, you all shoot recurve or compound. And uh, you can be on the same shooting line as some of these top guys. So. Winnegurava is shooting first, one point down. She needs to shoot tens. She needs to nine. make Shonison work. So that's a nine. So I'm not going to say it's easy for Shonison, but it's not as much pressure. Ten. Jeez. Now that's really, that's turning the screw back now. Has to shoot tens. Jonathan really in control of this match now. Ten. Good ten there though. Ten. Great shot. Ten. The ten. 29, so, nine points to win. Yeah, that's what I meant. We're not putting the three tens in. She gave Shonison the cushion. And it's a 10, same hole again. Closes out in style, 147 out of a possible 150. She'll be pleased with that. Really good match there for Shonison. She certainly needed the points to qualify, uh, well, help her bid to qualify for the finals in Vegas. Um, in, in Marrakesh, she, I, I know she was there, but she certainly wasn't very well yeah. and, and didn't make it on podium. Uh, the winners of Nimes last year, in, interestingly, was Lisa, uh, sorry, Linda Achoa Anderson taking gold, Irina Francini and Toya Ellison taking bronze. Now, they were all taking part this year, but yeah. they haven't featured Absolutely. in our finals this weekend. The, the level of compound women has really stepped up and... And now the depth is really intense, so it's yeah. not a given anymore like it used to be.